Hello, Spinny94 here, and today we're bringing you a battle against Alfred. Um, pretty locking a pretty strong team as well. So, just a question of the day: What's your favourite Pokémon out of all the ones you see here? I mean, mine's probably Dewblade, as you're about to see here. So, anyway, we will kick off straight into this match, and Alfred decides to lead off with Titan, the Titar, and I decide to lead off with my Lockdown, which is my Shuckle. So basically, we're both out here. He's got the type advantage. Cough Rock absolutely murders Lockdown here. But I do decide to stay in Cough as the scene as Titar's lead. I'm thinking, okay, this is probably a, self, a Stealth Rocks Titar, as I decide to set up Stealth Rocks myself. So both of us still Rock types, Stone types, no such thing. As uh, we're just going to chill out here in the sandstorm, so we're not going to take damage. And I do decide to set up a Toxic here. I did want to set up the Sticky Web because I've turned Lockdown into a lead shuckle because. I want to, basically, I've been trying to experiment with Sticky Web, and my last team was an epic failure, which couldn't win matches. I thought it would be deadly on paper, but obviously not. So I take another Stone Edge of the face, and down goes Lockdown there. As Titan's going to start rocking up the poison damage, which I don't mind getting on. I prefer Burn, but it's got to make do with what I can. So anyway, I decide to go into Mega Man as the Stealth Rocks do dig into him, but it doesn't do too much, and he goes into his Washington. <laughs> and I absolutely love that nickname for um, Alfred. If you do end up watching this, that nickname is pretty damn awesome. So I decided to Mega Evolve here, and I did go for the Water Pulse here. So a good particular on my opponent's part is this Water Pulse is going to do absolutely nothing. So obviously here, I've taken a bit of Sandstorm damage, we will both end up getting absolutely wrecked out here. And I know he was going to go for the Volt Switch, and I knew I could take one of these, cough. I knew nothing on this team wouldn't, nothing on his team would like going into an Aura Sphere. And he just decided to switch into his Mantis, which is the Sizzle. So, um, you know, this is, this is quite a threatening Pokemon, but obviously, you know, Mega Man's out here. He's just going to Mega Blast this thing to out of existence and do a huge chunk of damage there. So, obviously, I don't have the speed advantage, because I know Scizor in faster, unless it's a strangely speed orientated. So it's going to Mega Evolve into an absolute green demon here. And go for the Bullet Punch, but obviously Mega Blastoise takes out like a champ. Obviously not getting crap about that. And I did decide to go for the Water Pulse, and that is pretty much going to finish off this Mantis. I mean, the safer play might even go for the Aurosphere, but, you know, we stick with what you can. So, I come to Washington here, and it's going to dig, get some Stealth Rocks, dig and do it, and I mean, I did not want to switch out here, I mean, Mega Blastoise kind of did his thing, and I didn't think Mega Blastoise would do too great into this match, and it's kind of hit and miss play, but obviously, he does Volt Switch, and he leads into his Extra Drill here, and I decide, okay, let's let's see what we're going to go for here, is he just get the Stealth Rocks digged in, and I do go into my Jewel Blade, uh, I probably make a questionable play here, I mean, I thought it would have just went for the Earthquake and wrecked me, but I just go for the Rapid Spin, maybe predicting a switch, as I just go for a Sacred Sword to get the super effective damage, and that does not do a lot. So I'm reckoning at least a full health extra drill here, as he just decided to switch into his Hawkwood, which is his Talon Flame, which I was really terrified of, but the Stealth Rock damage is a huge chunk, as I just go for the Sacred Sword here. Um, I thought he'd go for Flare Blitz here, but it's an interesting set here. Flame Charge is certainly makes this Talon Flame a lot more interesting than the sets you come across. Just its name as well, so it's Flame Charge Life Orb, all the good stuff. As I just... Oh, pardon me, as I decide to set up my um, Sword Dancers. It does go for the Roost here, so it obviously does carry the priority um, move Gale Wing, so at least you don't have to worry about Flame Body, as I decide to go for an um, Shadow Sneak here. So here, make a bit of a misplay as it does go for the flame charge here. I predicted him going for the roost again, as I believe I go for another sword dance here. But that sword dance is definitely going to help me later on, because Jewelbit is just taking attacks out here. So Alfred, just if you do watch this as I say, I'd personally recommend flare blitz over flesh flame charge, because I mean, you're talent flame, you're fast enough, and I'm going to destroy this thing with a shadow stick. God, it was a limited on just the smallest smidgen of health there. So down goes this talent flame here, that's a huge threat out the way, thankfully for me. And he goes into his Washington thinking he'd outspeed, so maybe this thing's choice scarf, but nope, I am going to go for the priority shadow sneak, just to be on the safe side and finish this thing off. So he does go into his Togekiss here, which is just an absolute beast, I'm trying to dig it. I do like the blend, the kind of clear bender colour, just that little different tint of white. So he goes for the Thunder Wave here, and Thunder Wave is, luckily isn't going to debug me too much, as I do manage to break through and go straight for the Iron Head, which is going to demolish this Togekiss. I mean, even if it was a bulky one, I think a plus four super effective moves that's going to take out pretty much anything unless you like that max defense shuggle or something like that. So he goes into his titan here and I'm thinking I'm going to get outsped and earthquaked here. So that is not good for me as I decide to go for the shadow sneak and do basically minimum damage. But as you're about to see here, even I Julie Bird does not give two shits about anything because look at that, look at that damage. That was a super effective hit from a T-Tar and I managed to live that. So this has got to be a defensive T-Tar at the most. Well, thankfully, I live that and go straight for the Shadow Sneak again, just to start chipping a day of damage. And so at least the poison's going to finish this thing off eventually, but poor Dewblade does go down. But Dewblade put in so much work this battle. I am I'm really proud of how well my Dewblade did. So Titan's going to take a little bit more poison damage, and I'm going to switch into my Aromatisei, or I'll, I don't even pronounce that. It's a type of rose, I know that. 
So anyway, I'm gonna go for the Leaf Storm, which is uh, probably not the safe play as I probably could have finished this thing off with a Sludge Bomb, but I just didn't want to risk it. I mean, Leaf Storm's gonna lower my attack here. And I was quite worried about this extra, in all honesty, because I didn't know what this could be. Is this a Bandit set? Is this a Scarf? I did switch out after the Rapid Spin. So I'm thinking maybe it was Bandit or Scarf or something scary like that. So the more breaker happens as I decide to go for Leaf Storm here, and you're about to see this move, this extra drill here. Goes for us, and I do manage just to not die. So it goes for a sludge bomb, and I must admit, I didn't know this thing could carry sludge bomb, and I just wonder why on earth it was carrying sludge bomb. But I mean, not the best against the Rumble CD, but that would catch a lot of people out, so that's an interesting move to have on it. So anyway, down goes this extra drill, and I do manage to win the match. So thank you for all for tuning in. If you like this match, feel free to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and of course, and of course, I hope you all have a nice day.